When you receive your RedSense device, you might want to adjust the sensitivity. So by default, it has a nine foot range or three meters, but you can adjust this range by turning this tiny knob using the accompanying screwdriver. You can also set up so it has two zones. Uh, so this would adjust the first zone and this would adjust the second zone. But doing so might be a little fiddly. I mean like you can adjust this and you can look at the light to see if it's triggering or not. So you can just walk back and forth to see or set it, this up. But since this device has Bluetooth, we've found a way to easily uh, make it uh, possible to see exactly what the device sees. So if I take my phone here, unlock it and I just put it here, then I can open the App Store and I can search for VLE scanner. So they'll usually show you an ad like this. And this is not the one we want. We want to have the one that has this icon. And just install it like that. I have to double click to install and then we open it. So we don't want notifications. We can just skip this. but. You might want to see it, but we do want to be sure that we do allow Bluetooth. So now it does a scan showing all the devices that are visible from my location right now. Dishwasher, lots of other things. And these all expose some form of data. So to make the RadSense device show up here, just press the button once and that turns Bluetooth on. And in some cases it'll just pop up. In some cases you may have to pull down uh, to refresh and then you press connect on the RadSense device. And then you can just click here, custom service. And here you'll see the settings that are currently being used. So right now it's detecting me, if I hold like this, it'll take me very close. And if I go away, you'll see it taking further. As you'll see, the, the number is jumping. So we're using an average and you can adjust this sensitivity by pressing the buttons. Just have a look at the settings page. But if I turn the potentiometer now, uh, you should be seeing that zone one is reduced to 50 centimeters. And then if I turn the other knob, you'll see that one is also reduced. So this is how you can very precisely set different zones for different detection modes. Now, if you're not using Bluetooth and you just want to reset the device, you can rotate both knobs against the clock until it stops. Don't over tighten it. It's, it's a small, tiny little thing. And when you do that, these are both reset to 330, which is the same as nine feet.